It's James from the Xire team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Xire's AI-powered duplicate search feature to save time and clean up your Lightroom catalog. Now, I recommend using duplicate search when you want to identify and remove any unwanted image copies you've created over the years. Say, JPEGs that you've exported for social media but no longer need, or duplicate RAW files that resulted from transferring images from the same hard drive at different points in time. Duplicate search can also be used to identify and group together similar images from, for example, a single photo shoot so that you can pick your best. However, if you're using Xire Search 2026, you now do have access to dedicated culling tools, including similarity grouping capabilities, and they also let you go a lot further with AI-assisted culling based on sharpness and grouping based on content and faces and a lot more. So if you want to call your photos, I suggest using the culling tools. And if you want to eliminate duplicates, stick with the duplicate search here. Let me show you how it works. First, if it's not open already, access the Xire search panel by hitting Alt plus X or Option plus X if you're on a Mac on your keyboard or by selecting Library, Plugin Extras, open Xire search panel. Now I like to minimize the panel by just hitting this hide photos option in the bottom right hand corner and then we have it just as this nice little strip right there. Then simply click the find duplicates button here which will bring up the duplicate search dialog box and as you can see there are a number of settings you can adjust to ensure you get the results that you're after. So first you can choose where you want Xire to search for duplicates. Do you want the whole Lightroom catalog to be searched, the Lightroom film strip, or do you want to compare photos in the film strip to photos in the entire catalog? Next, you can choose the type of duplicates you want to find. So if you select exact duplicates here, then Xire will identify images that are identical in every way. The file contents, the file type, the file size, all of it will be identical. Now, if you choose near duplicates here, you can use this similarity threshold slider to say exactly how strict Xire should be in recognizing duplicates. If you set the slider over here towards strict, you'll get images that are almost perfectly identical but with minor differences. For instance, the software might find a high resolution version and a low resolution version of the same photos. But if you set the slider over here closer to loose, You'll end up with images that are similar but with obvious differences, such as, say, photos of a specific person in the same environment but taken a few seconds or minutes apart where they've had time to move around a bit. And finally, you can choose the Sequences or Bursts option here, which tells Xire to identify and group together photos that are not necessarily visually similar but that were taken within a certain time span, such as one or two seconds apart. And you can set the time span here with this slider. Play around with these filter settings at the bottom, but they're really just about telling Xire to ignore certain duplicates or how to collect the duplicate images together. Then once you're ready, go ahead and click Start. To give you an example, I'm going to just look through the film strip and find some duplicates. I've already selected a folder and I know it includes quite a few identical files where I copied some images several times. I'm going to select exact duplicates here because the files I'm looking for are identical in every way. They're just JPEG copies and I wanna find all duplicate sets no matter the number of duplicates. So I'm going to leave this option unchecked. Then I'll hit start. Now, it's worth mentioning, the duplicate search can take some time to run if you search through an entire collection or an entire catalog of images. Since I'm only searching through the film strip, which doesn't have too many images, it'll be pretty fast here. And the result is that 95 groups of duplicates were found. Now, if I go here under Collections, you'll see that Xire has created a search for duplicates collection set, and it contains all of these different sets of duplicate images. So here we have a bunch of duplicates, here, here. So I can go through and just quickly select the images I don't want, then use the Alt plus Backspace or Option plus Delete keyboard shortcut to remove them from 
my Lightroom catalog. And if I want to remove the images from my hard drive and my catalog at the same time, I can actually go ahead and select the images I don't want and apply a rejection flag just by pressing X. So it's applied this flag here. And then once I do that, if I go back to my original folder, so I'm going to go here and say, go to folder and library, then I could choose photo here and then say, delete rejected photos. And what it would do is give me this option to delete all of these photos that have the rejection flags from my Lightroom catalog and my hard drive. So if I were to select delete from disk, then the images would just disappear. Basically, if your Lightroom catalog is cluttered up with duplicate or near duplicate files, the Find Duplicates tool can be a real game changer for you. Even if you don't think you have a whole lot of duplicate shots, try running Xire's duplicate search and just see what you get. You might be surprised how many file copies are taking up space in your catalog or on your hard drive and how easy it is to get rid of them. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that like button. And of course, for more tips and tutorials on Xire's AI-powered photo management tools, go ahead and subscribe to our channel.